In this video, we're going to show you how to sell photos on DotPhoto and make some money. The first thing to do is to log into your account and to go up to the right-hand corner into the My Account section. Click on Selling Your Photos on the left, and then Pay Me. Fill in the payee information here. We used to require a tax ID number, but now you can simply enter a PayPal email, and no tax ID is required. PayPal takes care of all the tax reporting. The next step is to set your custom pricing. There are a number of ways to do this. Let's add a standard dollar amount. Let's say we want to add $4.90 to everything that we sell. These are the products that you can sell at DotPhoto. And you can see that a 4x6 now sells for $4.98. So how are your commissions computed on that? Well, if your selling price is $4.98, the credit card fee is 3% of that, or $0.15. Cents. The item cost today for a 4x6 is $0.08. Cents. So the net margin is $4.75, and you earn 85% of the net margin. So on the $4.98 sale, you would earn $4.04. .04. You can also set prices by setting a standard markup percentage to every item, or you can set individual prices, and you can turn products on and off that you may or may not want to sell. For instance, you may not want to sell a 20 by 20 square mounted print because your photos are rectangular. Once you're satisfied with your pricing, save changes. At this point, you're ready to sell. You've told DotPhoto how to pay you, and you've set your prices. But there are a few more things that may be helpful. To link your account to your website, click on the sharing tool here and choose Copy All Albums. You can also link specific albums by going into the album, clicking on the sharing tool, and choosing either the album link or the slideshow. Once you've copied the link, you can paste it into your website, as we've done here, so that when someone clicks on the website, it takes them straight into your .photo album. Of course, you can also paste that link into your email, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or other account, where you want people to come back to your .photo account and buy your pictures. Let's say that you want to watermark photos so that they can't be captured from the screen and printed without paying you. Well, you watermark photos upon upload. So we're going to put a large watermark on these photos that we're going to upload. Select the photos and upload them. Now. We are the owners of the account, so we're not seeing a watermark here. There's no difference to us. However, if we sign out and then sign in as a guest, there's no password on this guest account, we'll see that these pictures are watermarked. So there's proof, and it would be difficult to copy this from the screen and fill in the proof mark and get a decent picture out of it. A picture to be watermarked has to be at least 1280 dots on the longest side. If you're shooting portraits or pictures for unrelated events, you might want to password your album so that your guests will only see their own pictures. To do that, you want to apply a unique password to every album. Go into the album, click on Organize, and then on Album Settings. And here you can supply a unique password. In this case, the password is Sagamore. If there were three albums that had the Sagamore password, anyone who signed in with Sagamore would see all three albums and any albums that had no password. So to do this, you want to password protect every album, and every password has to be unique. Anyone signing in with your account name and the Sagamore password would come straight to this album and would see no other albums. Finally, depending on what kind of pictures you're selling, you might want to organize your albums so that your most recent pictures are displayed first. People tend to be interested in the most recent pictures, so here's how you do that. Go to the main album page by tapping Albums, and then choose Organize and Display Settings. 
Now, this is the creation date descending, so it's the most recent creation date to the first. So if we choose that and go back to our albums, it's been resorted, and here's the most recent album that we uploaded. When you join .photo, you get your own web address. Your sign-in becomes part of your URL. So in this case, the Billion Dollar Art Gallery, BDAG, uh, dot, dot, photo, dot com will take you directly into the dot .photo account. If you happen to have set up a My Website, your web address will take you directly to your dot .photo My Website. And this is another great place to sell your pictures. People often ask, how can I sell more photos? Well, you're a lot like an author. People are interested in photographers and authors, and like an author, it helps to get in front of community groups or on local media and speak about your art. Hand out lots of cards with your website or your dot photo link. Share dot photo slideshows via email, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Of course, one way to increase business is to make it easy to buy something. And at dot photo, we're doing our best to make it easy to buy your photos. Thanks for watching.